Hey, you down here? Okay, back with another not live stream. Um, I can't get OBS Studio. It crashes every time I hit start streaming. So, uh, I'll show you the desktop here. But what you can do is just record. She says, don't, don't click on that. Stop recording. Don't click that. Uh, start stream. Um, you can either just, the way I have it set up, you can either just hit start stream and it'll automatically start the recording before my backup recording is what it usually is. Um, and then once I'm done, it's already on YouTube, you know, and I don't have to upload anything. Or you can just record your video, and which is what I'm doing. That part works just fine. And it, ha it started doing that. I noticed it after I added this audio uh, cam 2 from camera 2. But... Uh, I've messed around with it all, all, all day, really. All after, yeah, pretty much most of the day, and I have not been able to fix it. And it looks like there may be bugs going on with OBS. Um, <clears throat> uh, so um, I did some, you know, some searching and stuff. And looked through my uh, logs on the computer and stuff. Found this, what found some errors on OBS, but I didn't really find my errors. Uh, that I saw didn't seem to be same thing what I, I saw the bugs online but mostly I, everybody that was on the forums looking for help was people running it on Windows so running OBS on Windows and I'm running on Fedora 28 so I finally realized you know the whole thing I need to do though uh, get over here my I've got my uh, let's see I just got through check I just got through checking for updates here's the remote uh, admin uh, for uh, my net pro max bishop co you know web server that i've been was was working on before christmas and then got sidetracked with christmas shopping and everything else and one thing led to another and it's now january 19th uh, but today i had a, an emergency <laughs> that i even made worse my website's been down all day uh, power went out i was just you know i was sitting here just kind of well i was uploading some videos and that i made yesterday uh, but because OBS, I made videos trying to fix it and stuff, and doing I did something else. I forgot what I did now, but anyway, I ended up spending all day yesterday messing around with OBS and doing some other stuff, and uh, uploaded the videos, renamed them, did all my stuff, and uh, power went out just while I was renaming those videos. Luckily, they were all uploaded when that happened, and uh, didn't stay off for you know not even a minute, and. Uh, but then when I went to turn the computers back on, I've been I've been using the Red Black BioStar as uh, as my server, and this is the 10 inch tablet uh, that I'm using because my uh, well, I just now remember what I did all day yesterday. The Red Black BioStar is just to the left of the screen there. Uh, it's not running because when I turned it back on, one of the fans started. It was just trying to start and couldn't. Kept trying and trying and trying. It was just. Um, Actually, it sounded like the you know when you want a fan or a motor, it's turning just a little bit, just turning, 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 you know, and, and making a rrr, 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 noise sort of out. You know, you can't really duplicate that noise, but I can't. But um, anyway, I had to turn it off. It was gonna, you know, it just couldn't. I mean, it couldn't stand the noise for one thing, but you, you know, can't leave it running like that. Tear it, run something. It could could cause, you know, overheat. That fan could cause problems with the, the motherboard or something. You know? uh, the, I've got it darkened down so that you can see the screen. But the Net Pro Max is to the right of the screen over there, and it's running. Been running all day, waiting on me to get to it. So, and I thought in case I need to show the screen, you know, uh, I can't get the. Uh, I'm using the 10-inch tablet sitting on a music stand. You can see it back there behind me. I can't um, get it situated just as well as I can the regular camera phone on that mic stand to, to zoom in straight in on the screen. But it is to have higher resolution. Either any any of these things, they don't have optical zoom, of course, and so the digital zoom just gets all grainy and all and something even blurry and from even that far, that close, that's not that far away, you know. But uh, I have figured out, and I'll say this all the time, but I need the darn thing to be right here in front of my nose, and then it would uh, be exactly the right. And without zooming in, then you could actually read the screen on, on anything except, for, you know, uh, normal size text. But anyway, that's not what I got. But, uh, oh, and uh, 
Okay, over here to my right, you can see that stick. That's camera two, which is normally the one behind me. Well, it's my wireless audio, so it's not exactly wireless because it's I can't I didn't want to take it out of here because I, I may use it for a camera again tomorrow, you know. So I laid it on the desk, so you know I'm really tethered. I mean, I can pick it up and carry it, but I got all this wire and stuff here, you know. My new mic has a long cable. My new lapel mic, but that's what I've you know been doing. A lapel mic plugged into the phone, and then the phone was in the bag, and I'd wear that bag around my waist. Then I could just walk around and do whatever I wanted. But now. Uh, phone three's battery started swelling in it. Uh, that's what I spent all day yesterday messing with, trying to figure out whether it was safe to use. I didn't think it was and safe to use that battery. And uh, I don't. It, so I uh, took it out, put it in a metal can. I went outside and found me an old coffee can, and uh, got it in there. Of course, it's really not doing a lot of. If it was really gonna, the whole idea. I read. Oh, dad, come it. Everything's falling. Every time I get near that end of where I do a thermometer, it tips over and folds up its little leg. So uh, anyway, I was I started to put that thing in the can out. I thought, well, if I put it in the garage and if it really did go off and start burning, we wouldn't know it. <laughs> and it might act, you know, there's really no good place in the garage to set that uh, <laughs> burning can, you know, so I thought I left it on my desk over here away from everything as much as I could and in the can. thought, well, if that thing starts smoking or burning, it'll wake me up <laughs> in time. <laughs> That's what I decided. I didn't expect it to do anything, but I thought at least I would put it, uh, not just leave it on the desk or I didn't want to leave it in the phone, you know. But uh, so I don't think I'll be using that battery. I mean, I'm, I might, I wouldn't be afraid to plug it in for a little while just to check out. But anyway, I don't think I'll be using that battery. I, uh, and uh, I found the cheapest one I found. Um, well, not the uh, not the cheapest one, but that I could get from uh, an American supplier, Amazon. You know, uh, was sixteen dollars. It come with a little car charger, but you know, uh, I paid fifteen dollars for the phones when I bought them several years ago. Each fifteen dollars each, so brand new. Of course, that was a heck of a bargain. I haven't really ever seen another bargain just like that since then. I look once in a while, but uh, I just uh, the cameras, you know, they're only they're five megapixel cameras on still shots, but they're only like around two on video. And so you can buy another phone, not much better. The only they have more this they these have one gig of memory, and the newer ones have two gig of memory. But they have one I saw was a quad core. These are quad cores with one gig, and the ones and the and it was uh, thirty five dollars, and there was one that was thirty nine dollars, and uh, it was an it was an eight core actually, but it only had uh, had two gig of RAM, but it only had maximum thirty two gig of SD card. Well, my, mine have sixty four <laughs> that you can put in them, you know. So that was weird, but anyway, I don't want to spend that much on the phones anyway. I'd rather if i'm going to spend any money like that even that much money you know forty dollars i might as well buy a webcam or something because i've had so much trouble with the audio and video not syncing streaming the you know audio and video over the wi-fi it's really convenient and i can walk around i mean wireless cameras pretty cool you know but um i could pick up that that uh tablet back there and carry it around i could pick up that camera up there and carry it around uh and if i had this rigged up that, you know, I would be still be completely mobile. But anyway, I don't want to just keep on using that that tablet because I bought that for mom. That's an eight core tablet right there, ten inch tablet. But um, and since the Wi-Fi can't handle and, and the chips, mostly it's the chips and I think it's mostly the chips and the devices can't handle it, not the routers because my routers, my router I'm using is supposed to do like twelve hundred megabits wireless or something, yeah, you know, something like that. At least, well. I think that would be on the 5 gigahertz, on the 2.4 gigahertz, 0.4, 2.5, whatever it is. Uh, it, it might be like 800 megabits, but that's uh, the most these phones will do is about 75 megabits. So I think that's where my limitations are. That and the interference with other radio signals. I should go over that every time I talk about it. But anyway, uh, then today I spent most, I've already spent all day messing with OBS trying to get it to where I could stream because I really wanted to be able to stream. I wanted to fix that. I thought I'd just, just because I edited 
settings you know i'd added in every profile i put this audio from cam to and i thought maybe that had something i'd done had messed it up and i messed with it all day and can't fix it uh, today anyway and so then i th but my so uh, my website's been down because i had to turn off the red black bow star was serving up my website the net pro max has fedora 29 on it but i have a pro one problem i have with it is i the last time i worked on it i got messed around i go spent way too long like 10 hour day or something messing with it wore myself out and it, and i just was getting loopy and it was doing an update well it's a combination of things i was tired and i was using xfce desktop and i'm i use mate all the time and that's what i'm familiar with and whenever it's if i wanted to reboot it and it's and it kept popping up a message saying um there's a program running do you really want to reboot right now and i said well maybe i shouldn't you know and i kept trying to figure it out well the whole time right up in this area up here it's like you know this is door 28 so it's really similar when dnf is updating the a little icon will come up there well it was there i saw it in the video the other day uh, but i didn't see it at the time so I finally gave up and rebooted and uh it broke a kernel update so now i got a broken kernel so when the machine starts up uh, like say if the like today the power went out and then I had it set to automatically shut start itself back up Well, it would hang up on boot because you have to manually switch to the old kernel to get it to boot up now so I've got to <clears throat> either learn how to uh, Delete an old broken kernel or I'm gonna have to reformat the thing and I decided to look in the updates window I thought well, what if there was a kernel update? You know, the, the update section of the remote admin uh, or what it's called now cockpit it's called cockpit but the, there's something there about abrt um let's see it's operating weird directories in home directory yeah we i wouldn't like that uh, of course you wouldn't notice i haven't been i haven't even had the thing on so kernel core headers kernel modules um there are kernel updates, but not a whole kernel, I don't think. Let's see. Well, that's whole kit. Yeah, so that's back to the same thing. So that's why there's a few updates, because it hasn't even been running since before Christmas, so, you know, there'd be some. And uh, But I don't want to do that right now. First thing I want to do... I haven't even copied it's running just fine I haven't copied my website so I wanted to do a video of it I mean I could have just done it but I wanted to do a video of it so I'm already logged in here with uh, FileZilla this is my backup drive here on this Lenovo i5 and this is the uh, folder on uh, in Fedora your web if you if you install a uh, Apache web server then it's gonna default to uh, being in var www.html and so that's where you you know you want to go that's where you want to put your files and there's that one little picture i put on there to make so i would know that i was on the net pro max you know, when i was jumping back and forth between machines so over here on the left i selected everything i want all those folders all those files and somewhere up in there there's an upload button but i never can remember what it looks like so i just right click and say upload and it's a couple of gigabytes but it doesn't take too long uh, you know what i know what you that net pro, i'm looking at the specs of the net pro max the other day i know why now because uh it's not a 100 megabit ethernet on board it is a gigabit ethernet on board it, even though that thing's old enough to be it's a single core celeron it had a gigabit ethernet i'm pretty sure i'd have to look in there and make my 100 percent sure but i remember the last time i copied something well, I already did this before in, on Fedora 28 and then decided to reformat and do Fedora 29. <clears throat> so I remember just now, just now I thought, oh, I remember that not taking too long <clears throat> uh, at all. So um, that's good. Now, the updates, um, I don't think these are going to fix my problem and I don't want to do it. It's going to be, it says right there that uh, the web console is going to be updated so it's gonna uh, i'll be disconnected and uh, 
you'll be reconnected in a few moments. So, okay, yeah, I see. So the software that she's running on the server that I'm connecting to is going to be updated. That's what I'm getting it saying. And uh, but sometimes when you do, especially if you do a kernel update, it has to reboot, and it would do probably do that automatically. Like the my automatic updates. This is what happened. I was in the middle. It was around three o'clock in the morning when the when I broke it because I didn't, you know, I didn't wasn't thinking about it. But it uh, it was updating, and actually I did the restart. It didn't. Uh, if it would have finished and restarted, it would have been fine. But I did the restart sometime not too long before three in the morning or at, before it finished. It was after. It starts updating at 3 a.m. if it's running. and uh, But I interrupted it and broke it. So um, just let those upload, and then I can point my router to this machine, and my, and my website will be back online. So um, let's see. Let's, I haven't even looked. I haven't had my email open or anything. Uptime robot. But this is the way to look anyway. I'm sure I've got a lot of notices all day long. Um, go to Uptime Robot, and I'm trying to think what the other one is that I use. Yeah, see, it's been down for uh, 4 hours and 21 minutes, according to this one. Now, my Dawn songs keep showing to be down, but then it... One of these reporters keeps showing it down for hours on end when it's not. See, like 290 hours, and it's not actually down. It, I think it's, I don't know why it's doing that, because it was really throwing me off. I thought it was, was down. Uh, let's see, Uptime Robot, and, does it, oh, it might be that, Monstatic, let's see. There's one called Monstatic and one called Monetist, and one of them I don't use anymore. Because, well, it quit working. My login quit working. I think Monstatic still works. And I think this one's actually more accurate. Um, been down about five hours. I believe this is the one. Yeah, because that one with that long list, you know, the, it's actually got a real good, I don't know, maybe somewhere on here you can see your history. But that other one with all that history, um, I believe it's the one that's given... False reports on that. It's just the Dawn songs is mainly the one it does it to. So um, as soon as this gets uploaded, I see I could have done this earlier today. I, I just wanted to fix OBS, and I got tied up in trying to fix it and try. Oh, I didn't want to give up. You know, oh, maybe I'll do if I just do this. If I just do that, uh, should, uh, I I I could have done what I'm doing right now. Just fixed it. Made a video. Go ahead and make a video. Just. Just don't try to fix the streaming stuff, you know, first. Do this first. So, and I've still got, uh, yesterday, I, I had set up my video stuff all ready to go, and I was going to, uh, I've got a new motherboard for Mom's Machine, and I haven't opened it yet. I've had, it's all like, had it, this is a third day or fourth day since I got it. I have some other boxes, you know, just normal deliveries. I thought, well, I'll just open them up at the same time. Well, I haven't opened none of it now. So, um, let's see. Now, we'll go to, the, we'll just leave, wait, we'll go back to this in a minute. Let's see. Um, I'm going to say, okay, let's see. That in. Since I'm searching for Fedora 29 stuff, <clears throat> put it there. Now, I've already been to these pages recently. Let's see. Let's see. Let's look at that. It's finished. Okay. Okay, well, we'll twenty eight, twenty nine. Yeah, that's pretty. What? Oh. Oh no, that's an old post. Why does it say Fedora twenty eight? May seventh, twenty twelve. 
joined date 2009 so this post was on this way to oh y'all yum complete transaction yum reinstalled kernel well, this might be helpful though i just change it to dnf we'll see i figured there might be some uh pretty easy commands you could use to do that but i think i'll look at these others first because i want to find out about uh <clears throat> you know the newest sometimes they change the commands the way this things need to be done okay so uh yeah that should be done should be okay it wasn't you know there were these files are, we didn't have to worry about whether or not to override or any of that stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and close this program now and um <coughs> Maybe it won't be as bad as I was afraid it was. Now, I want to get over here and uh, just go ahead and go to... I'll leave that one open. It looks like it could be useful. Get in my router. And... Uh, Let's see what is it yeah one nine six one zero dot one fifty three that's what I want to point to okay um, it's a long since I've been in here I think it's gonna be in port forwarding yeah okay Bishop Co yeah Printer, printer, and that's it. Let's see. What do we say? 153. I've used several lately. Okay, port 80. Okay, always enable. Save. You have to save it. If you move off without saving it, then you lose your work. Okay, and then virtual server. You have to do that. And... Oh, okay. Yeah, I'd let's see. One fifty three port eighty. I had only been doing port eighty on the because uh, I didn't have any HTTPS served up on the uh, Red Black Bio Store. So I'm going to enable one fifty three. That's when I was working on my DNS server that I just I finally realized like I was trying to make a. Uh, authoritative dns server and i finally realized that i can't do it on godaddy you have to have two separate ip addresses and i can't there's no way for me to get more than, get but one from my isp so i did a lot of learning for about a month or more <laughs> to find that out I, <clears throat> I figured that out towards once i got it i finally did get it up and working but i couldn't get it to be actually online you know where my website could be found without having to use the forwarding forwarding set up for okay so um port 80 port 443 and then what else we got make sure i'm not messing up bishop co port 80 oh where's port 443 there it is yeah okay i missed that last time okay don't want no b and c going there this is what allows the internet to get to it you know you don't want to do that well virtual server does part forwarding would could be within your local network but virtual server is on to the internet yeah okay got to got to think all that through okay so that's done that's done okay now we should be able to See my see that my website is back up now. Usually it goes straight to my show my stuff. Oh, there it is. Okay, okay. So, but it had this one only checks like once every thirty minutes. So, but you can do a check now. Okay, now we're up. 
this machine is louder than I really thought I could ever stand, but today I kind of got used to it. I mean, I can definitely hear it, but uh, <clears throat> so it's up. So that was not too hard. That part of it's not too hard. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and get on that other one too. What was the other one? Monstetic and Uptime Robot. Oh, it's still trying to go there. Okay. <clears throat> well, while it's waiting to go there, I think I'll turn on my... I'll turn on my... Turn on my wireless mic for a minute. And uh, I can get... I can actually, with the two mics, I can actually... These are there's two of them, so I can be wearing one and be using one to let's see how loud all this is. It's the side of the machine. There's the front. There's the other side. So at least the fans are not, uh, <laughs> that, uh, that, uh, I knew that the, uh, hang on, get, get back to normal here. I knew that the, uh, um, the, back on the S58, yeah, I knew that the, um, um, trying to say <coughs> the red black battle star was um, this one over here that you can just barely see the silvery things up to the left uh, I knew it was um, make the fans were making some noises so you kind of make some noises and then get better and get worse get better and get worse and I thought oh I hope those things hold out <laughs> well one of them didn't <clears throat> I don't know why the power going out made it must have been good and hot for after running for you know well i guess it's been running a month a couple of months now um must have been good and good and warmed up you know and good i mean like overheated the bushings bearings whatever it has in it uh, most of my i i don't i well i have run well actually i've ran into some worn out fans in the garage that actually had real bearings in them which are supposed to last longer but they were an old machine from old machines but uh I don't. I think all the ones in the red, black, bell star are bushings. But anyway, um, I had just got through replacing the uh, video card fan, checking over all the other fans, cleaning it up good, you know, uh, right before I started running it. So I was really surprised that it was making any extra noise or anything. And then, and I'm really surprised that one of them just flat quit like that. I've never seen one just. Shut the machine down, turn it back on, and all of a sudden the fan won't go. You know, usually it just starts doing that on its own. I mean, it usually happens while you're sitting here or something, you know. Okay, this page did not come in for some reason. I don't know why. Let's try it again. I don't know if it's the wrong URL or something. I guess I can use my history. There's the login right there. Let's see. Yeah, I'm on the desktop. But uh, I was thinking that I just, earlier today, I thought, I can't have that Net Pro Max running even one day, you know, go try to, or one night trying to go to bed with it. But it's not so loud as I had remembered. Uh, I don't know. It may, it may sound really loud when I shut everything down and get in bed, though. We'll, we'll see. At least it's over here, you know, quite a ways from my bed with the stuff in the way to block the sound. So I don't know what's going on with that page. Let's try try the history. Maybe that's the right the right address. Maybe that darn website's why I keep getting <laughs> notices saying I'm down because the server it's its server's not working good. 
It's just not wanting to come in. Well, I'm back up. I know that because the other one will go to my web. Of course, you can go to your website, and even though you may be up, you can do that, and you'll get there on your local network, and you won't know, you won't realize it. So that's why I always use those services. But it doesn't hurt to go ahead and do this too. <clears throat> Let's see how quick they're coming in. That's good. Okay. So um, now let's kind of glance over the uh, information. I'm not going to do those updates. I'm going to get in the terminal over here so that I can run those some commands once I decide what it is I want to do. Okay. I had to. Okay. He broke his kernel. Installed the kernel update and it broke his system. Had some old kernels available. That's one cool thing about Linux. You know, they keep one or two or three old kernels available. And I've, I've had to use them plenty of times over the years. Not often, but well, when you need them, you need them. Oh, he couldn't boot from either one. I've had that happen before. Incomplete yum track session pending. Yeah. Yum. Oh, this is what he did. He tried to run yum reinstall kernel. Oh. Oh, okay. So that wasn't how you do it. Okay, I'm going to go on down. Remove the bad kernel. Yeah, that's what I want to do. This is going to be... <laughs> yeah. 
He finally just reinstalled. Okay, so I'm going to remove that. I don't want to have to get to that and read it again. <coughs> How do I upgrade? What does it have to do? Should I upgrade? Yeah, that's not. Oh, okay. Broken passage, unfinished dependencies. I don't need uh, sudo because I'm root user. So we'll go over here. We'll run that. See what it tells me. That is from Fedora documentation, so <clears throat> I don't, I don't has I don't worry about running the command. You know, that's why, <coughs> that's why I grab that command right quick. <coughs> it's from uh, Fedora Project Wiki. Oh, it didn't give me any readout. Uh, it, whatever, <laughs> it was successful, I guess. List of broken packages. Okay, no broken packages. Oh. Yeah, if there would have been any broken packages, we would have got a list of them. I'm making sure I'm on the desktop. Let's make sure my audio is working. I was doing all that change and stuff back and forth. Yeah, okay. Um, ideally, there should be no packages listed. If there are some, consider fixing the issue by removing them or some of them always be careful and don't do anything you don't understand ask somebody for advice okay well we don't have broken packages up your important data upgrade refresh what does DNF upgrade do well, I'm already on Fedora 29. Let's see. Uh, yeah. So maybe I don't have a... I don't guess I have a broken kernel. I assumed I did. <clears throat> but I guess I don't. All right, while I'm doing my research, let's go back to those updates and just do them. It could fix it. You never know. I did that. I already tried that once, I think, but let's try it again. Install update. That can just be working. You know, it'll make us not be able to try anything else for a while, but that's okay. <clears throat> be silly to work and work and work to fix it when it could just be fixed by an update. Don't know how long it'll take. It was two, three hundred, two to four hundred megabytes. I didn't pay attention this time, but it did earlier today before I started making the video. Shouldn't be super long, but could be could be anywhere from five minutes to thirty minutes. I would guess. I would guess ten to thirty. Okay, well, I'm, there's not a, 
Uh, well, I'm sure there's some beta software, but I don't want to upgrade to beta software. You wouldn't know about that when Fedora releases a, a new release, there's usually quite a few bugs to be fixed for at least the first six months. So uh, I wouldn't want any beta stuff in there. So. Clean up old packages. Let's see. Yeah, I did the broken packages. This is back where we started. List extras. Oh, well, they've been removed from the repositories. Well, this is my system so new, I wouldn't think I would really have anything like that. Remove. Three pull three extras. Okay, I don't think I'm going to find anything in here <clears throat> or what I'm looking for. Okay, so, um, upgrading, yeah, that's, I'll have to, now I will have to wait for that update. It, it, it may want to, uh, Oh, we can see what's going on there. It's going by really fast, but. Yeah, you're not really going to be able to follow it, so I won't leave it like that. <clears throat> Just be using, probably using up more system resources here on this machine. Okay, so I need to search something else because I wish I had that boot error. I've got it somewhere in a screenshot. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, if I got that fixed, I wanted to go ahead. I wanted to have a GUI login screen, but I don't have to. I have... XFCE desktop and mate desktop on there. I never did get into mate desktop because I, uh, <clears throat> but uh, that's why I kind of thought I might just reformat it because, I, you know, it's just extra packages and probably a few extra things running in the background. Uh, but I don't have to. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, Documents. I, I, I used to have that highlighted it in a color you could see. It's just those tiny little dotted lines, and I can't even see where it's at now. That's what I meant to do. Server commands, XFC, setting up XFCE desktop, <clears throat> installing mate desktop. That's the stuff I did. Now let's just look at these screenshots. Maybe there's something in here. Actually, the screenshots won't have, <laughs> I just remembered the screenshots won't, it'll be, it'd have to be a picture because, you know, you don't. If it doesn't boot, you can't log in remotely to take a screenshot uh, off of the uh, remote desktop. Let's see what's in there, though. Remember how I did that? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> if you're installing from uh, v VNC remote desktop, which I did do, then uh, that's how I got those. I was able to see it on my system. 
Yeah, you can see you're in good. Let's see, I'm in uh, full screen here. Yeah, whoops, got completely out of it. Yeah, I was in full screen mode, so it gets a bit confusing. At least, I, no, wait a minute, when you're in, oh, it doesn't do, yeah, it doesn't take over. Okay, so that top row is the machine I'm on. But I don't think I'm going to have that error in, in any of these screenshots now. Now that I realize it. Yeah, see, now there it is in remote. Uh, in uh, No, that's in virtual box. Yeah, that's in virtual box. Okay. That could have been what those other ones. I like to check. Usually, I'll check something out in VirtualBox at least once before I actually install it. <coughs> I think that's back. Yeah, that's back. That's through everything that's in there. Okay, so uh, yeah, I've only got one folder for Fedora twenty nine. I don't think I have anything for Fedora 29 in there. And I've got so many screenshots in my screenshot folder, I don't think I'll go through that. Um, <clears throat> so I might have written it down. Let's look over here and see. <coughs> it's getting... <coughs> <coughs> it's come along pretty nicely there. <clears throat> It'll be through... And we can see if it either fixed it or I'm going to have to reboot and look at that boot error. And I can, of course, you won't be able to, you won't be able to read it, but I can show it. I can, sh I can show and tell, but I'll really have to mostly tell. Okay. Um, earlier to, yes, yesterday or earlier today, I saw that screen. Well, when I turned it on, I, first time today I forgot oh yeah I have to catch it you know with with the arrow keys and, and go to the older kernel and I saw it and I thought I should take a picture of it and I actually started to grab a camera and turn it on and then for some reason I either got sidetracked or decided I'd do it later or something so uh, <clears throat> I'll just say kernel update won't boot. There we go. Well, let's see. SS rule 28, but. Yeah, there we go. Go ahead and look at. I think that's going to be that's going to be on the same page. Twenty four to twenty five. That's old. Okay. <clears throat> Four point one seven. Okay. Uh oh, I hope I don't get that. I think I'm already past four point one seven kernel though.
Well, <clears throat> let's see. Go to these forum posts. Fail to start switch root service. I don't know if that's what it was on there or not. Okay, hey, bug. <clears throat> Grub CFG corrupt. I wouldn't have thought it'd be a grub. Thing. Oh, really? <clears throat> well, we can try that. <clears throat> Put that in there. DNF reinstall kernel core. Oh! That's one of those commands <coughs> that I was thinking of. Well, I don't want to break. He's telling you how to break it again. <laughs> and then either run grub to make config or tuned. Fixes the grub again. Go back up to here. Let's go back to there. <clears throat>
I'm just skimming over it, seeing if there's anything different from what I've already seen. It looks like what we want is <clears throat> that right there. That's what I want to run. <clears throat> that seems to be so good that I'm going to save that whole page. I'm trying to think of what I can put in there that won't be so long that it won't fit. I usually don't leave special characters in a file name <clears throat> but I don't see any other way to <laughs> know what the command is I think they'll go in there I'm going to try that. <clears throat> I don't like leaving, leaving extra dots in there. <clears throat> oh, here's what I'll do. I'll email it to myself. I don't know why I didn't think of that. <clears throat> and I'll put that, that little sentence with the commands in the email. You know, that update, I was blaming myself for all that. I'm not so sure now that I did end up breaking that update. <clears throat> okay. Where's the other? Yeah. Okay. That was the first link. There's still another link that I'll check. Oh, let's look at our updates. That may be done. No. Got right in there and kind of working hard now. Uh, that's a whole different thing. Okay, so. That's all about that video card, so that's not really. I think I found what I want to try. And I'm going to have to wait till these updates <clears throat> are over, and I'm done to have, have a break. So I think I'm going to go take a break and let these updates keep running. That's, yeah, that's the best thing to do now. All right, I'll just start a new video once the updates are done.